Now we are going to configure the SIP trunks. So I'll create the trunk SIP, the type endpoint, context from SIP trunk, right? One interesting thing on this trunk SIP is we have outbound authentication, but no inbound authentication, right? Outbound authentication because I'm authenticating at, at sip.flagonk.com that it's not, that it's our provider. This is the address of record where the server is. This is the authentication, the outbound authentication. No inbound authentication. When I'm receiving a call, there's no authentication. Trunk identify, it means anything coming from this IP address will match the endpoint trunk SIP. So any call being received from this IP address will match here this trunk SIP and the context from SIP trunk. This is the registration. Uh, we are using the same authentication. And here we have something important. Contact user equals 9999. It uh, means that this user is being registered as 999. So when receiving a call, it will be sent to the extension 9999. And let's add this all this data to our file. Let me copy. Now, okay. I come here and nano pjsip dot conf. Uh, let me add this here. Okay. So we have everything we need. Great. Now let's do asterisk dash r. PJ sip reload. I will do something different now. I will simply restart completely because we, we have changed a lot of things. Okay, great. Asterisk dash r. So now we have the configuration to totally restarted. So let me show PJ sip show registrations. It will show the registration is registered here All right perfect let me show the registration the specific registration sip and it can show all the data regarding the the registration let me show the endpoint pj sip show endpoint endpoints so we can show the specific trunk SIP endpoint. So with all this data, so you can have an idea of what you can configure on the on the system. So everything is ready. On the dial plan, we're going to see how to dial externally and how to receive calls. So the trunks are configured.